Hey all, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and today I want to show you how to create these fast and easy farmhouse ornaments using items from the Cat's Pajamas and the Dollar Tree. You can use these cute ornaments on your tree to decorate your house or tiered trays. I'm starting with these 4 by 6 inch canvases. I want to use the frame from the canvases, so I'm cutting away the canvas from the frame. You can see whoever put these together really likes staples. That's going to be a little hard for me to dig all those staples out, so we're just going to cover them. And we're going to do this using these five large popsicle sticks. They're the perfect length for the frame, and it will cover the ends so they don't look as much like, well, you know, popsicle sticks. I'll mark the width of the frame on another stick and trim off the excess. And I'll do that to three other sticks. So I have one for each end of the popsicle sticks. Now I'll just line up the sticks. I'm adding some space between the sticks to give it that farmhouse shiplap look. And add glue to the ends and cover with the sticks that we just cut. I'll do the same exact thing for the second group of sticks. So while the glue dries, I'll paint up the frames. Originally, I wanted to do a brown wash on the frames, but it, I wasn't really loving the look. So I brought out the black chalk paint and did a dry brush over the frames. I really, really like this look so much better and it looks really great in person. I have to do a little apology. That tapping that you hear in the background is my little dog walking around the kitchen. Don't you agree? The black is just so much better than the brown. Once the glue is dried on the sticks that we glued together, I'll just take white chalk paint and paint the front, back, and the sides. Then I'll just take the paint on my brush that I use with the white chalk paint to dry brush over the black frames, just to give them even more of a more distressed look. I think they look pretty awesome. So you know that brown paint that I added water to in the beginning that I was going to originally use for the frames? I'm just going to dry brush the white chalk painted sticks on the edges with the brown paint, going with the grain of the sticks adding more to where the sticks meet the edge uh, where the sticks meet the sticks on the edges. Does that make sense? I'm not going crazy with the paint. I'm just painting the edges, leaving the center blank for the words that I want to put there. Now speaking of words, I use the skinny alphabet stencil to create words on tracing paper. It's a good way to plan out placement and determine if a word will really work in the space that you want it to. So I'm doing a test using the red permanent marker from the Dollar Tree on this stencil. I'm seeing a bit of a bleed under the stencil. You can kind of see it on the tracing paper. If the medium you're using is too wet, it'll get sucked on under the stencil. That's just physics and the way it is. So for now, I'm using a pencil to outline this, the letters. I'll just use a white pencil eraser to erase the pencil lines when I'm done. And I'll just color in with a red permanent marker. For a little decoration, I'll add a little scroll and drops from the hand-drawn scroll stencil. I think these little frames would look cute 
with the year or your family name or the name of someone in your family. Or it would even be cute on a gift or hanging from a doorknob. So let's do another. I'm going to just put the word peace on this sign. And the crossbar on the E falls right on the crack between the sticks. So I'll just move the crossbar up a little so that the letter reads as an E. A little erase with the white eraser. And we're ready for the next step. Next, I'll add the black frames to the top of the popsicle sticks with hot glue. Now you don't have to use hot glue. You can use um, wood glue or Aliens Tacky glue for this so that you can move it around a little bit. But I'm just using hot glue in the interest of time. To hang signs, I've cut a piece of jute twine and knotted the ends and attached them to the top of the frame with the hot glue. Now it's a matter of just decorating the tops with parts of picks and stems, and it's amazing how many ornaments you can decorate just from the parts of a couple of picks and stems. I'll also be adding some buffalo checked ribbon to tie in with the farmhouse look. Just simple loops back and forth and tied with jute. For the jingle ornament, I wanted to add some of these darling little bells that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're meant to be garlands, but I only want two, so I'll just clip them apart and glue the tops onto the bells. And I'll just attach them to the frame with a glob of hot glue. And I'll add a plaid ribbon to the top to cover the silver twine. Some little berries for color. A little trim and the ornaments are complete. What do you think? Two quick farmhouse ornaments using products from the cat's pajamas and the Dollar Tree. Fast and easy, easy and fast. I hope you give them a try. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.